consider this, stillness as an active force. The psalmist tells us to be still and know that I am God. It's not always an easy thing to do with so many demands on our time and energy. It's tempting to see stillness as a less important priority when compared to the practical actions we can take, such as caring for our family, earning a living, serving in church, and praying or reading our Bible. We sometimes compartmentalize times of stillness as passive gaps in our otherwise hectic schedules. All pilots, engineers and support staff applying to work with MAF are asked to raise their own living costs and we were no exception. I left a well-paid job with a global company to follow God's call to live this way as an avionics engineer with MAF in Uganda. Together with my wife Becky, we spent four months undertaking what MAF called ministry partnership. The focus of this time is to meet with friends and family and ask them to join a team of partners who provide regular financial gifts and pray for the work. The focus is on building relationships rather than just fundraising. During this time, we met with individuals, spoke at churches, sent out letters and emails. We connected with people and shared our call, our dreams and our vision, along with our anxieties and our fears. In between these times, there were times of stillness where we simply had to wait for people to respond. During these times of waiting, between the asking and the receiving, God was at work, touching hearts and calling others to give and pray, just as he had called us to go. There's no distinction here between the active and the passive periods of the fundraising process. During the times of stillness, in the praying and the waiting, we were actively pursuing God's call just as much as we were when we were speaking, writing and sharing. We learnt that being still and knowing that he is God was as important, if not more so, than the times of activities. It was during these times that our faith was strengthened and all our needs provided for.